Hi, this is Brian Murray with HobokenHomeFinder.com. I'm going to be talking to you today about the absorption rate in Hoboken for the third week of March, 2015. Um, oh, this is not the absorption rate. Sorry, this is my brackets, which are totally trashed. Thank you, Villanova, and to all of my clients that went to Villanova, who I put my faith and trust in. But the absorption rate. Uh, absorption rate really means how fast the market turns over, how many condos go under contract versus how many are for sale in any given month. So um, if there are 100 homes for sale and 20 of them go under contract in a month, the absorption rate would be five months. So you divide the 100 by 20 to get five. In a normal market, uh, the absorption rate is between five and six, per se, uh, five and six months, the meaning that there's neither a uh, an advantage to the buyer nor the seller. If it's more than six months, then you're talking about an advantage to the buyer. Uh, they have more uh, negotiating power on price and on terms. Um, to give you an example, back when the bubble burst in uh, you know the uh, late 2000s, Miami and some parts of Florida, they had 30, 40, 50 months of uh, inventory. Whereas um, here in Hoboken today, uh, we have about a month of inventory uh, in the one-bedroom market and two-bedroom market. Actually, it's slightly less. And then the uh, three-bedroom market is about two and a half months. Now, what that means is that if you're a buyer, uh, you have multiple bid situations. Homes sometimes last only a couple of days on the market. Uh, homes are going for 5 and 10% over ask in many cases. Uh, terms are dictated by the seller. People who are winning multiple bids often have a lot of cash, if not all cash, to put down. They're waiving mortgage con uh, contingencies, appraisal contingencies, home inspection contingencies. So if you are a seller, know that you have um, some opportunities uh, to dictate terms. And if you are a buyer, if you find something, uh, jump on it immediately because uh, this is all supply and demand right now. And when the supply is short and the demand is high, it's likely to uh, raise prices higher before that becomes back into equilibrium. Uh, this is Brian Murray, HobokenHomeFinder.com. Thanks.